everyone, this is Tatumus Prime. I'm back for another video. Uh, this isn't a, a Transformers review. This is a response to Johnny Roddy Wave 666. Um, I apologize. I meant to have this response video out a long time ago. Um, I recently lost closest thing that I've ever had to a brother an actual blood brother uh, recently and uh, YouTube just life in general just kind of went on hold for a while for me um, got to thinking about him and you know you get to thinking about the regrets and and uh, plans you had and life short people life short spend as much time with your friends as you can man your family enjoy them enjoy the time you got with them and uh like i said <clears throat> sorry i got thinking about him and <laughs> and in my head, <clears throat> I heard him, uh, you know, I heard him in my head tell me quit being a fucking little bitch and get on with my life. And uh, that's just what, just what he would say. <laughs> so, Adam, brother, I'll see you someday, man. I'll see you again. So anyhow, <clears throat> I'm getting back to living again. So, in response to Johnny's getting to know an old Transformers reviewer and why we do this shit. Okay, I, I, I'm, I thought that was pretty intriguing. I, I like the concept of that. Everybody does the getting to know a Transformers fan. But I thought it's kind of cool that he's doing the throwback. Let's let's go back to the ones that have been doing this shit for years. And nothing against the newer reviewers at all, by any means. It's just kind of cool to see a different perspective from a different bracket. I don't know. How to, you know what I mean, I hope. Anyhow, first question. What is the reason you do this shit? The reason that I do this shit is it's therapeutic. I know that sounds odd, but I don't have any other friends that are into Transformers, you know, that are local, physical friends that I can hang around with and bullshit with and... <coughs> And then, uh, there's just, I've seen too many people when I first started watching YouTube that were fake. I'm not naming names that don't have to by this point. Everybody knows who the fuck they are. They're either, like, like Wolfgang said, they're just fucking drone just fucking this is the toy world. Or you get the ones that are like fucking Barney the goddamn dinosaur. There's one individual in particular that just fucking, he laughs at everything he says before he says it. It's not funny. And he's acting like he's doing reviews for three-year-olds. And he's doing masterpieces and shit. And it's just... I want to claw my fucking eyes out and jam toothpicks into my ears. It, and everything is just golden. I can't stand it. Or if he does say something negative about a, a Transformer, he flips it really quick to something really great. And I just wanted to tell how I thought a toy was. If I like something about it, I'll 
say that I like it, and if I don't, then I don't. So that's pretty much why, well, it, that's what started out. And then the friends that I've made, all you guys, all my subscribers, I consider you all friends. I try to reply to every comment. Uh, to that some of us communicate through Facebook on Messenger. Um, we we do like we used to do the old Skype. Uh, I don't have that right now. I I don't have that ability. Uh, I don't have the memory. I'm using my phone. Um, so I have to use Messenger, which has been working really well. Other than I can't get a hold of Graham. Graham. You don't have to be on Facebook, brother. I swear, I promise. All you have to do is just download Messenger app. I can't get on Instagram, brother, and I would love to sit and bullshit with you again. I miss us talking, man. We had some really fucking cool conversations, man. You're a cool dude. It'd be great to sit back and bullshit. And I won't tell anybody else that you're on it either. I'll keep that between me and you. Um, anyhow, I'm going to drag this on way too long. Yeah, I got my paper here because I'm fucking old. Number two, who do you like to watch? Oh, jeez. Wolfgang One, of course, is one of my brothers. Been watching him since I started. Um, Johnny, Roddy Wave 666, of course. i been watching him since he was Dwarf Born Star 666. That was a long time ago, brother. You were still living at home and doing reviews out of Mama's Kitchen. I I remember, man. Um, some of the newer guys, uh, Patriot Prime reviews. The dude is amazing. He does phenomenal reviews. Uh, it, he does repro labels. Amazing. And then, of course, Graham. The Collector 75. Come on, brother. If you guys don't know Graham, you're not on YouTube. Um, God, there's just so many new guys. Um, Transformers and Video Game Reviewer. Another really good guy. Uh, I've been watching a lot of his shit. Um, there's so many more. I, I, if you want to know who I watch, go through my sub list. And check them out. Not all of them are Transformers reviews. But you can tell by the names. If that's all you're into. Um, there's just so many great new reviewers that I've, that I've found that have come out since I had been gone for nine years. Okay. Number three. What is your Holy Grail? Or if I got it, do I have a new one? Unfortunately, my Holy Grail is still, um, oh Jesus, <sighs> see it used to be Devastator, and then I have, I had him at one time, my last, when I had my collection, um, before I got rid of my collection, uh, Fortress Maximus, um, the Titan Returns. That's the closest I'm going to come to getting to that. And I'm going to have to knock over a liquor store to get it. <laughs> uh, yeah. For reasons that I don't need to get into. I'm physically unable to work. And fighting disability. and So I have like zero income. <clears throat> so all the stuff that you see reviewed. Is gifted. And donated. And I can't thank everyone enough for everything that I've gotten and with Christmas right around the corner might might get another one or two things to review hopefully <clears throat> so uh, no I still have not achieved my well I, I did achieve it and then now I guess I do have well he was my holy grail back then too uh, so we'll let it go at that. <laughs> uh, number four. What has changed in the years of reviewing? I'm seeing a lot more fake now than there was before because there's a lot more sponsored. Uh, 
I do have to say with the exception of two. Uh, that brother's got it. He'll tell, tell you if it's a piece of shit or not. Uh, two, you rock, brother. You fucking rock. You're one of the true sponsored reviewers that'll actually give you an honest review. It's You're amazing, dude, and your videos are fucking hilarious. God, I can just watch them all night long. Number five. What else do you collect other than Transformers? Gray hair and fucking dust. I don't collect anything else anymore. Um, I used to collect miniatures. Um, 40K, shit like that for D&D, &D, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I, the only thing I have is my Transformers. Like I said, gray hair and dust. That's all I'm collecting anymore, other than Transformers. Do I have any hobbies? I have a guitar set in my son's guitar, by the way, setting in the corner, collecting dust. It needs restrung. I need to lower the action. I need to straighten the neck. If I get around to ever getting that done for him, I'll be back to playing guitar again. Used to be in a band, a couple bands and shit when I was younger, and it rocked. It was fucking cool. I miss that. <clears throat> Number seven. Uh, what's your least favorite Transformers series and line of toys? I have to confess. Um... I haven't seen all the Transformers series. Uh, I've what just got done watching all season or the of the eighty four run, and I'm fourth episode in on Headmasters. I've seen bits and pieces of Armada, and that one I'd have to say just from the couple episodes that I've seen. Beast Wars was written pretty well, I, it, I, but it's the toy line I hate the most. I despise it the most. It, that line just kills me. The, the kibble, the fucking... It, it drives me insane. But the, the cartoon was decent, so... From what I've seen of it, I've only seen part of that also. Number eight... What would you like to change about your videos? The quality. <clears throat> um, the lighting. The, the focus. Uh, just the setup. Uh, having more toys to do reviews on. <laughs> having a selection. Um, you know back in the day and when I have my collection it was well what do I want to do this time now I'm down to fuck I gotta put off put, I'm doing another review I'm down to two transformers now and uh I think I'm gonna be reviewing uh Power of the Primes Evolution Optimus here real soon just cause I gotta do a review man it's killing me not doing reviews like I said holidays are coming around the corner I'm hoping hoping that uh Santa's nice to me. Uh, I haven't been that good of a boy. Okay, number nine. If I had a real Transformer, who would it be and what would it do? That is a fucking amazing question, Johnny. I love that one. That's one of my favorites you got on here. Mine's going to be... I'm an outdoorsman. I grew up. I'm not a city boy. I, I mean, I've grown up in small towns, um, but I'm a country boy at heart. I pretty much grew up every weekend. I stayed with my grandfather on his 80 acre, 180 acre farm. I'm just, I'm a farm boy type. Uh, camping, outdoorsy shit. Uh, I love camping. So, my Transformer... And what better way to do it would be in style than would be with Rodimus Prime. I don't care. He's a fucking 
Winnebago. You call him what you want. He's a fucking Winnebago. And a badass one at that. Who better sit around the campfire with than fucking Rodimus? And then traveling, man. That's traveling in style. And then number 10. <laughs> now this one, I... <laughs> oh, Johnny, you're good. Uh, if you ever met Michael Bay, would you A, punch him in the face, or B, shake his hand? <laughs> okay, I'm going to catch some shit for this. I like a lot of Michael Bay's movies. I like explosions. That's why I like his movies. Lots of bangs and explosions and fireballs and wrecks. And and he did... The, the first Transformers movie, you know, he, he... He, like, put a spark into the flame, I believe, a little bit. And he got, got it fired... Excuse me. <clears throat> got it fired back up again. But then I'd fucking drop him for fucking what he did to the Transformers. It's like giving birth to a child and then beating it to death with a with a own umbilical cord. Why? I'm so glad the fucking Bay verse is over with. But he did, you have to give him credit. He did light some kind of a fire get some more exposure, get some more shit coming out, some more toys coming out, put a little fire under it, but, yeah, it's like giving birth, it's like that last trash bag, you take it out of the box, you throw the box in the fucking trash bag, you know, it ate itself, it, it, it ate its mama, and that's, he just killed him. Uh, I fucking hate the Bayverse shit. All right. That's been my uh, my uh, response. Um, there's some people I'd like to hear from. Let's see their response to this. Um, of course, Graham. Uh, but you just pretty much did this. So I understand if you don't want to do it uh, because of your 10-year anniversary video. Um... Mark Rashowski, I want to, I want to get your perspective. Nolsey, um, man, I had a list and I was going to write it down. Shit. Geekers, I'd like to to hear your response to this too. Um, and anybody else that's been around forever, you know. Uh, it'd be cool to hear from Dennis, you know, I can understand him not doing it because he's not doing videos and reviews right now or whatever, but, you know, any of, any of the old people that have been around for a while, because there were names that I had intended and I, I didn't write them down. I, I apologize. All right, everyone. This has been Tadmus Prime. Till next time, rock the fuck on.